What's going on, people? This is your boy, Wes, and I am here with uh, my thoughts on the Real Housewives of Atlanta um, reunion part two. I honestly... I mean, everybody wants to see the drama. Everybody would like to see the drama, but I think we saw enough of it on the Real House uh, Wives uh, season two. And, I mean, with that said... It it just allowed me to realize that all of that shit was just it was dumb. All that shit that they went through was stupid. You know what I'm saying? But um anyways, I still think that Candy is the realest housewife. Because if you look at the reunion video, you see a lot look at their faces when certain things are being said. You really see who likes who and who cares about who and who wants to know what. Because a lot of the times Nene when 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 Andy, which by the way is a cool cat, I like Andy. When Andy was talking to uh, Kim, you know, you can see Nene's facial expressions like, "Ugh, bitch, ugh, god, whatever." Uh, and they all gave that fake ass smile. And I'm thinking to myself, like, these some phony bitches. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, all of them are sitting here. Saying that they respect one another and they care about one another. But when Andy would play the clips, like, let's talk about specifically this whole thing with Kim and Nene and they battle that they had and the fact that they couldn't stand each other. And and Kim said that she was, I mean, Nene said that she was so done with Kim. Now they've had, they've talked about it, hashed it out. And you know what, you know what made me believe that this whole shit was just bullshit because I, I think to myself, I'm like, all right, if this was a real situation, no, you shouldn't really hold on to hate and drama. You really shouldn't. But at the end of the day, if it's really that serious to you, to where you're saying you will cut off your toenails and stick them in the sandals and walk through them shits bleeding, like, I mean, that's kind of serious. You know what I'm saying? Kind of. How could you just forget about it? Because in my mind, the whole shit was dumb to fucking begin with. And if and if you are supposed to be my friend, you know what I'm saying? If we're really friends, me and my friends would never really break up over some b dumb bullshit like this. It, it really doesn't make no sense. Like, I'm not understanding and I, I just didn't get it. So it was just like, for them to say, over, oh, we've talked about it. We had a phone call and everything's fine now. Like, really? Really? Like, I really wasn't getting it. It wasn't making no sense to me. All right, so that's just dumb situation number one. Dumb, dumb situation number two was when Andy asked um, this chick, <laughs> Sheree, if she was lesbian. I loved it. I, I so loved it because Sheree, Sheree. Anyways, dumb situation number three, Dwight. Dwight coming out. Now, I guess he's a real housewife because, I mean, he keeps it. Real, kind of, sort of. But um, he was going off and talking about how, you know, he was like, this reunion show was boring and I don't understand what, why there's no drama, there's no fighting or whatever the case may be. And the chicks was like, well, why wouldn't you want to? Kim was like, why do you want to see fighting? And, da -da 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 -da. and I'm like, bitch, because it's a reunion show. Y'all was fighting at the end of the season. We should see something now. At least, you know, that's my initial thought process. And that was Dwight's. You know, so it was it was cool when Dwight was giving his critique of everybody's fashions and he got to um, <laughs> he got to uh, Lisa and couldn't really come out with his mouth with Lisa. It was just funny. It was also funny how Lisa in turn ended up having her own battle with Dwight um, towards the end of the reunion because it, she was just like, you shouldn't have said it the way that you said it was very tasteless and very, you know, not becoming, which it kind of was because the white can be an ass like he literally can. But if you accept that for who he is, then I mean, you know, it shouldn't become a surprise, but he, he really was, he was an ass. And the shit that he said about, I mean, to go to go on and say something like that about somebody's fashion show and then to be cute with them, giving kisses. I mean, that's some phony shit to me. I, well, actually, I can't say that. The phony part would be to accept someone to give you kisses after you know they've talked about your shit. That's phony to me. You know what I'm saying? But Dwight is just being who he wants to be and, and saying now, saying what he wants to say and what's on his mind. So he does it. And that's just him. 
screwed up situation number four. The whole battle between Sheree and Lisa. How they were so intense with their words during the season that when they finally got in front of each other and spoke about each other's fashions, they didn't really have much to say. And that was just, no. Okay? Candy and Nene. Candy and Nene. All right? That one little bout where Nene was like, you owe me an apology, bitch. What the fuck do I owe you an apology for? You the one that spazzed out for no particular reason just because your ass wasn't included on a fucking song. And, and, and because you were getting in my face and I had to shut your shit down, you're telling me that I owe you an apology, bitch? Please. I love Candy for that. She looked, the look on her face when I think you owe me an apology. You know what I'm saying? That look on Candy's face was hot. Candy, I love you. You know what I'm saying? Candy spoke about her AJ passing, so we I'm not even gonna go into that. You know what I'm saying? Now, Kim with this whole singing thing, and her wouldn't be a one hit one. I'm glad she admits that, you know, she's not really a good singer. I'm glad she does, because there's a lot of people out there, Britney Spears, that doesn't admit that they're not a good singer. You know, there's a lot of people out there, J Lo, that doesn't admit that they're, you know, not a good singer. There's a lot of people, good singers out there that that don't admit that they're good, but the ones that suck need to admit it. Thanks, Kim, for admitting that you suck, and thanks, Kim, for admitting that you want to be a one-hit wonder, because I, I, I so respect you for that. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm glad that you know that you're going into that sounding that way. It's a beautiful thing. Tardy for the party is cool. Nah, the beat is hotter, you know? Anyways, for her to be making uh, money off of that, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that she's doing that. Thank you, Candy. You know what I'm saying? It, I hope Kim and Candy remain cool because they seem real cool now. And Candy just seems like she doesn't. Like, if there was a real issue with Kim, that she would not be Kim's friend. I, I mean, that's what I get from Candy. Let's talk about the whole fact that Kim might might really be a pathological liar because Andy caught her out on some shit with making out with some guy, some stranger. And she's like, I would never make out with some stranger. I would never make out with... And Andy's like, bitch, do you not remember the tape? And so she had to play this like amnesia type type reaction. Oh, that happened? Cam. And why the fuck couldn't Sheree and, 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 and Nene answer the damn question? Like, these some fake broads. Like, you know what I'm saying? When y'all on camera... Y'all talk more shit about each other, but when y'all in front of each other's face, y'all can't say shit. But when Candy was asked her questions about Nene, she spoke her mind. When Candy was asked, do you think, how, how does your perception change from when you first saw Nene in the first season to when you actually met her? She said that she thought, um, what's it called? It was uppity at certain times. Candy, I love you for that. Because it's, it's called Real Housewives of Atlanta, and these bras was not being real. Lisa was kind of, when she was giving her reactions to Dwight and how she felt about certain situations, but, I mean, the fact that all of those ladies sat there and, and watched Kim perform, their looks said it all. These are not real bras. I'm just sorry. And it was nice when Candy got up there on stage with Kim to support her because they saw the look. She had to have seen the look on these chicks' faces like, oh, these some coy bitches. You know what I'm saying? All in all, I can't wait for season three. I think this season was really cool. I actually started watching it this season because of Candy. So, um, yeah, but I, I hope, you know, it, it, it was a, it's a cool season. It, and, and these chicks are just, they're just funny to watch. They're really funny to watch. My name is Wes from A Connection TV. Thank y'all for watching my videos. Please subscribe and let me know what y'all want to see more of. All right? Later. Mwah. Oh, you do? I, I do, I do, I do, I do. Got it. Yeah, Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me get one more.